All right. So now we're live, ladies and gentlemen. And here we go. We're going to play Resident Evil 1 or Resident Evil Remake. This is the remastered version of the game, of course. Yeah, we're back here again and we're playing something different here. As you can read from the title, yes, we are playing this game on real survival mode. Now, what is real survival mode? Well, that's a good question, and I'm going to tell you what it is. Real survival is basically, I would say it's the ultimate challenge, I would say, for Resident Evil Remake, kind of the ultimate challenge. In a way, not really 100% in a way, but it's basically so real survival mode. Let me tell you about the contest of this difficulty. You get this by beating Chris and Jill campaigns, both campaigns to unlock this difficulty. You unlock this and you unlock the visible enemy, which I'm going to do it later on. Maybe if you guys want me to do it, I'll do it. So, this difficult, this game is basically, this mode, here's the things about this mode that's different. Um, this mode, I'm going to be playing this game, basically, this game, this mode will set the difficulty automatic, uh, by default, automatically, on hard. So basically, I'm playing this game on hard difficulty. That's the first thing. Second thing about this that the auto aim is turned off automatically turns off. So basically I have to manually aim every enemy I fight. Bosses, enemies, etc. And the biggest pretty much the biggest um thing about this difficulty is that the item box, which I'll talk about it as we get going. And I'm going to play this as Jill because she's honestly the best person to do this difficulty with. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Resident Evil. All right, so Resident Evil. So, we're going to play as Jill and I pick Jill in her Resident Evil 3 attire. It's pretty sick, and this is actually the real Resident Evil 3 attire, not that remake. Resident Evil 3 remake attire, this is different. And of course, the HD version contains Jill's BSAA costume from Monster Nightmares. So, but no, we're just going to stuck in with Jill in her Resident Evil 3 attire. And by the way, the cutscenes will be skipped in this one. So, yeah, I'm playing some Jill because Jill she's a lot easier to um, play in this difficulty in this mode is she's pretty much the easier one to do because she has the lock pick uh, eight inventory slots and some good ass weaponry personally in my opinion has the best weaponry enter the survival horror here we go this is my first time playing this difficulty, by the way, for my very first time. I played the game on hard before, so there are... yeah. As you can see, what is this place? Jill walking out in her Resident Evil 3 attire from the original original RE3, not the remake Z. <clears throat> so here we go. Let's uh, begin, shall we? All right. So here's what we're gonna do to make it a bit faster or a bit easier is. I can do is skip this whole first zombie part. All I can do is just do this. Go to Wesker. Do it again. You get another cutscene. Got cold feet already? The berry. That's not like you. And then yeah, he'll pretty much comment if you just running away as soon as you get in there. The zombie will make its appearance. I think. I think the zombie is appearance. I'm not sure. Yep, there we go. And the zombie will make an appearance and kills. It kills uh, 
yeah, kills off, you know, zombie will come out right away, so. So yeah, this game is basically set on hard difficulty. Uh, special weapons are not, are disabled completely in this difficulty, so you cannot use, let's say, you cannot use, um, the rocket launcher or the summer edge pistol, the unlockable guns. So you cannot get them, they're completely Thanks. gone. I'm in so, they're completely gone. And... Yeah, so I had to aim the guns basically on... Basically aim the guns in a uh, manually aim the guns at, so... And the zombies and everything. So... Fortunately, Cat doesn't have any handguns, unfortunately, handgun he has, so... This is on hard difficulty, so damage will I'll take double damage. And steal double damage. So my health spike is but from from fine to caution yellow I think or caution orange. I'm not gonna get the danger right away. So I basically take three hits and I'm dead, so yeah you gotta be careful and as well as try to conserve ammo. Oh yeah, speaking of bullets. Um Speaking of ammo, speaking of which, basically, uh, this game mode, some, up in a, some gunpowder or gun ammo, are different. You'll see what I'm talking about. Let's just see if I can skip that zombie real quick. There we go. I'm gonna grab me so I can skip away from the zombie. There's gonna be another one up ahead, so. Try to dodge zombies, all you gotta do is just go forward and bend backwards. Just shuffle front and back. Okay, that didn't work fine. As you can see, I'm going back to go to caution very quick. As you can see, my dodging is getting kind of sucky. Yeah, I suck at it. <laughs> As you can see, you get the caution very badly. Sorry, I've been not playing in a while, so I have to, I have to discuss, excuse me for a second. Excuse me, please. So I'll try to dodge away the zombies and didn't work. Well, my favorite, but. Oh well, that's what it is. You can see zombies on a lot everywhere, so and this difficulty is basically challenging you if you can deal with it. With its uh very interesting difficulty. I have to say it's a very very interesting difficulty setting and it's kind of an added thing I wish they uh, change the locations of the key items you'll get in the game that would make the difficulty a lot better just like in the original if you guys remembered in the original game um, oh, sorry just, um, in the original game if you guys remembered if you guys remember back in the original game um, if you play a range mode, you will, uh, basically, okay, let me aim on the grass, okay, hold on to me, I'm at this guy, up, oh. I'm the zombie, I'm gonna be killed. Don't worry. Turn around. Oh, sorry. I pressed the triangle button on mistake. OK. 
Okay, um, combine, reload this. Three kill. Okay, I'm wasting a little bit too much ammo already. I shouldn't definitely do, but oh well. It's gonna be hanging ammo right here. Oh, it's hanging over here. So. Another thing about this difficulty that's kind of suck and kind of bit difficult. Okay, the zombie's still alive, so at least uh, I got him off away a little bit. If I can get through this without taking too much damage, that's the thing. Taking a lot of damage at the beginning of kind of suck, but it's been a while since so I played the game, so you have to excuse me. I think I have I can just knife him through here if I'm in the edge enough. I'm playing a lot of Sonic Hill recently, so I was like pressing uh, two trigger buttons for some reason. I don't know why. Alright, go in here. You get the Book of Curses. And you just worthy to get next to key. So, yeah. The difficulty is kind of tough, and are you gonna see me die? You bet your ass. You bet your ass you'll see me die. Plenty of time, so. I'm not gonna do a good job of beating this, but I'll try. Heck, it's not hard for trying, right? It's not hard for trying. So this one will be killed uh, off easily. If I was Chris, I'll be. If I was Chris Redfield, it's gonna be difficult and limited inventory space with not a lot. As you can see one, two, see eight inventory space, which is helps a lot. She's pretty much like the best character to do when face this difficulty and invisible enemies good for Chris because Chris has more health into him. He has more health out he has more health than than Jill. So I recommend doing that. And like I said, this is my first time attempting this difficulty or this mode, the real survival mode. I'm having a knife in my hand because just in case I don't want to get killed. So I gotta be careful. Did he increase any enemies or anything like that? There's gonna be a a map right there. So there's uh, a dagger here. There weren't a dagger on the other place. This first our first dagger again, but I missed the dagger. And there's a zombie. Uh. I wanna just try to dodge a zombie. Uh. Oh no 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 please! Oh my god, almost dead this time. Yep, almost died. Holy Christ. Who's Jill? Anyways, yeah, my my run in here, yep, is, is getting bad. I'm gonna die already. If I die already, that means I kind of suck ass. Complete, just I don't know how do you use the files. How do you use the stars manual? What's that? How do you use the? Uh... How to use the defense items real quick? Oh, pressing L1 just defense items. Okay. Sorry, it's been a while since I played this game. Please just do not hate me because I played this game. I played this game in a while and I like to charge myself playing this game because this game is awesome. It's one of the best Resident Evil games out there. It's one of the best remakes. And I go as far as better than the Resident Evil 2 and 3 remake that came out. Like you know, they came out this year, came out last year. The reason I said that is because this is the that's, this is what a remake should have been like. Un unlike that other remake that we we got, is completely different. I thought Resident Evil Two and Three 
will have this style of remake and not the over their shoulder camera type of thing. I thought it would be different, but unfortunately it's not different, so it's no cheats for this. I can't I don't have any cheats for this game, so as you can see, there are different areas that have no ammo, some have ammo, some have stuff, some don't have stuff, so there's different scenarios and I think that they have like a lot of enemies coming in on me in one go. And that's another reason why I like to play as Jill because lockpick will open up certain areas without me trying to just like find the small key and get this one and then that one and all that stuff. So and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try my best to get as much healing as possible. And I, I need to actually remember this place here because hey, this place here is useful for me. Next time I combine that shit. There you go. And use it. I, I used up two healing already at the very start of the game, so. Don't worry, the dogs just pick up the chemical thing and get the hell out of here. Took the chemical, use for plants. Yes, of course. I don't know why I have the knife in my hand because I'm trying to like. Slice enemies, I think? I don't know. But really, using a knife in this game is kind of worthless. But I'm not sure it's useful much on on this difficulty. I'm not 100% sure because i not too like professional on this difficulty, but you know, hard. So, what's the difference between two difficulties, you might ask? Well, I'm glad you asked. The, the thing, the difference about the difficulty, the difficulty about this one in regular hard mode, this one, the difference is you have no auto aim. And number two, you have no auto aim. Number two, the the item boxes are different every single time. What I mean by is, is that it's different, like. Each time you enter, you get every single item box. For example, if I store a shotgun in one item box, oh. like, so yeah, you can get the shotgun early. I recommend, get, I recommend getting the shotgun early and try to save as much ammo as possible. <coughs> or try to. Use ammo, you know. Spare some ammo. Alright, let's go around here and get some daggers. Defense items, I recommend getting them on manual because you need to save those items. You, you gotta save those items because if you don't, well, you're screwed. So let's uh, turn up the. And it gives us the dagger. So, daggers will come in handy. And you can actually burn this zombie. Yeah, burning zombies will be another thing I'll do a lot more. Keeping, keeping the kerosene with my lighter on. Because I'm going to burn these zombies so I can at least have a safe path. Have at least a safe path because... The last thing I need is a crimson head coming my ass and kill me. That's the last thing I freaking need is a crimson head kills me, killing me. <laughs> Boom! Headshot! I'm just like waiting for him to hit the headshot so I can use. Alright. I'm gonna save the shotgun ammo when I need it. The reason is you gotta get too much ammo. There's plenty of kerosene left, so this will come in handy for me. See, all you can find is just this. That's it. Just the the fuel canteen. That's it. That's all you can find in this. You can't find pistol ammo at all. As you can see. So, uh, there's nothing in this one. I'm gonna put the knife away and put this green herb away for later. And yeah, there's nothing in this inventory spot. Once we go, we're gonna go to the medicine room and you'll see how different. And I'll keep this chemical 
any other so basically is I recommend storing important items like shotgun ammo here because this area is close by it's very close by so okay there's plenty of kerosene use the fuel canteen perfect need that because and we're gonna use the shotgun just if we like if we're kind of a bit screwed a little bit just as like a emergent as an emergency weapon because what I need is pretty much not using too much shotgun ammo but I don't have much ammo as you can see I'm no I have no bullet I have and yeah so I carry three you carry two kerosene in one so I'm waiting for a zombie to pop in so I can shoot him up kill him go to the Hello. Okay, spot him. I right, get some distance. Fire away. Fuck. Use it. I guess if he's gonna die, he's alive. Oh, he's dead. Okay, he's dead. We'll get the lighter and a bit later. Okay, now in the next part, next zombie, we're gonna shoot a shotgun, blast him off in the head. And I need to be critical with my shots because I don't want to waste ammo. Oh, this happens sometimes. He's still alive, he's not dead. Is he? Yep, he's dead. Oh, he's dead. Okay. okay. Let me just blow your head off. If I can aim precisely at his head. Damn it. Oh, got him this time. I'm gonna be a bit closer. Yeah, I'm gonna get closer. Alright, now I've got the lighter. So, I gotta kill this zombie here. Yeah, having headshots with the pit, with the, with the shotgun is a very big help. It's a massive help and the lighter's right here. So, let's use up the kerosene. There's, so, there's two places we know where the kerosene is. But the place where... I got the chemical, I gotta be careful here, so right, let me just kill this zombie here because I need a, a safe path because we're gonna come back a lot, so as you can see, it blows up the body and it dies. There's a zombie we're right on the corner in the hallway, we're not gonna go there. To trigger him, we're gonna keep him. But we're gonna kill this other zombie. And we'll get some kerosene and then we'll come back. Of course, we'd have a kerosene here because we don't want we want this place to be safe. But don't overuse the kerosene. You get a lot of pistol ammo, so no leg worries. You get a lot of pistol ammo here, so like at least killing him would be good. If there's some zombies who I didn't kill. There's a car. I can get kerosene real quick. I think. Oh no! I think bears will give me. Yep, give me acid shells. What? For the grenade launcher, but I don't have any acid rounds, so we just go back. The best place to save up ammo is the is that room. The room, the first save point you go in the game. The good thing about the the room, the door knob. It will stay open. That's the thing about it. Keep, take that to your advantage. You can go down there and the doorknob will never be broken. So you can use it. Like this doorknob here will never be like this door here. The, no, the doorknob will not be will not be broke. So you can go down as much as you can. And just use the opportunity to get some kerosene. It's not a lot of kerosene in the area so you gotta really try not to use too much. Alright, so you see. Have kerosene left, so it's my second. I have so I have basically three times to use this 
done three times, it's over. That's it. It's not infinite. If it's infinite, they'll be like, that'll be kind of cheesy. I keep the lighter and keep the kerosene with me. Of course, I'll dump the kerosene in the same place. Oh yeah, I forgot. I should definitely. Uh... No, I think I'll. Uh... Yeah, I'll go from the other the medicine room and keep. The... I think it's... I'll keep the acid shells here, in this one because this is a very good spot. You gotta like strategize about what items you could keep, what items you could take, and all that stuff. So. And plus, we need the, uh, we really need the assault shotgun. The assault shotgun will be very, very handy in this. You want this, the assault shotgun with you. It holds 10 shells, so basically, so here's what I'm going to do with the shotgun. It's safe as much shotgun as possible. And use the shotgun for emergencies, or I wonder if I want to kill somebody. Because I want to find places. I was like, okay, I'll be safe. Like this hallway, I need to be safe. This hallway needs to be safe. Not all times, but try to keep it safe. All right, now let's go through here. I think. I can't remember correctly, but I think forests should be appearing. Oh wait, hold on. Let's go down now. Let's go down and go to the to the bottom. Because we need to get the What's his face? Uh we need to get the gem and put it in the medicine room. Gotta put it there. So it's all about strategizing about where which area you should you should definitely keep your items in and when you use your ammo. Use a shotgun I'm gonna use the shotgun few time in useful parts of the game. I'm gonna use it for a lot of useful parts. For example, I'm gonna use a shotgun against the Crimson Head boss. The assault shotgun, of course, not the regular one, because the assault shotgun is the shotgun that's it's strong. It has more ammo. Okay, don't open the door, the front door there, because the dogs will come in and it's gonna ruin your day and I'm gonna die. So I'm having saved. I recommend frequent saves. Try to save frequently. Don't say like say, oh, I'm gonna, I can beat this with no saves. I'm so freaking pro or whatever with that type of bullshit. Don't do that. Oh yeah, this door here. I can kill a zombie from here, but it's worthless to kill some zombies here. And oh, that was, oh, was locked. Sorry, wrong, uh, wrong, wrong direction. Anyways, sorry for taking like longer to do live streams. I really apologize to not doing. Much live streams I should do. I should definitely done a little bit more live streams than usual. All right, let's just go here first and get through this place first. All right, you need to be the die with a shotgun, my friend. You really die with a shotgun. Yo, face boy. He's the dead. I had not enough ammo, as you can see. I'm run I'm low at bullets. Hold on. I think zombies is trapped trapped in the. Staircase open. I gotta. Oh, Joe, you're so hot. Bleh. Oh, girl, sexiest. Bleh. And then, here, where the first day spray in the closet, it come down this medicine room. So, we'll keep the gem here in this room. We'll come back here like many times, so don't worry about it. And we'll keep the chemical. I think we don't use the key anymore. I think the key is kind of running out of use. I think. I'll keep the key. I'll keep the sword key. Maybe some rooms still need to be checked. The uh, use then this one, the chemical. Because what we need to do is we need to get the uh oh, I think it's I think it's done. I no, I think it's one more that's one more room. I think it's one more room. The shotgun's gotta be staying with me for even if it has one bullet, it's gotta stay with me. And are there any ribbons around here? There's no ribbons. I'll try to find ribbons around and 
keep them. I think you get two ink ribbons or three ink ribbons. So we need to think. If I, if I die, then that's it. It's over, basically. It's done. Okay. Use lock. Oh, you lockpick here. So lockpick this door. This will contain the first battery and the broken shotgun for getting the shotgun. Good thing you can get the shotgun at the very beginning, at the very start. And there's a kerosene as well. And ink ribbons. Let's take the ink ribbons and oh yeah, you get the rest, I get two, but you get three, which is good. So I'm not gonna save now. I'm gonna risk it a little bit. I'm have I'm gonna have a bit of a risk. I'm take I'm gonna be taking a bit of a risk here, so if you'll excuse me, I'll take uh, if I have to take a little bit of risk here. So, excuse me. So, if, excuse me. So, we have a kerosene here just in case there's a zombie we need to kill. So, there's kerosene all over the place. So, I think there's a lot more of kerosenes here. So, we need to use these for our advantage. And we have no enough ammo. So, we need to try to save as much ammo as possible if we can. So the whistle, I'm going to use the shotgun against the, the first dog that comes in. Because we need to kill him with a shotgun. Get the key, use the earth to get hit, get outside quickly. That's what we need to do, so that's what we're going to do. Oh dude, you're so hot as fuck! <laughs> I thought I was going to throw up, but didn't throw up, unfortunately. Oh, the zombie's uh, not dead. Uh, the zombie's dead, but he needs to be extinguished, of course. And the zombie just... I don't know what he's doing. He's trying to be scary or something. Alright, kerosene. Use on this guy. Burn the zombie. We're trying to find places that's safe because we don't want to get too much zombies to be alerted, or a lot of zombies to be alerted, so... Alright, let me just... Okay, stand here. Stand in this corner. Let me get him to turn my back against the wall because I don't get hit. I use the dog whistle and the shotgun to kill off the dog. And the dog is dead. Use one shotgun shell and that still kill the dog. Now let's get in quick before let's get out of here quickly before this dog comes in and kill me. Kills me. So um I'm gonna shock on ammo, I'm gonna save it. Why saving the shotgun ammo? Good question. Uh, the reason we're saving the shotgun ammo is because for important battles like boss fights and big enemy types. So we need to try to get as much shotgun ammo. And Jill, you're so hot! <laughs> like, oh god, Jill, you're so hot! Ugh. <laughs> I don't know, it's just so funny. Still pretty good. I'm doing pretty good so far. I know we have a rocky start, but we're doing okay so far. Doing good so far. And right, now it's where this key comes off, like not handy anymore. The shotgun's pretty much. I'm gonna wait till it get. We'll get, of course, the assault shotgun. That's gonna come in extremely handy. I like the collar. Switch, of course. So yeah, we're gonna get this key. Um, we're gonna get the f our first face mask. We're gonna try to find out like different stuff and we save the game. Get our first save. We're gonna go around. As soon as we get the assault shot, I think we're gonna save the game. I think. Or maybe I just gotta... I'll save now. It's good to save now, so... No, keep the lighter and keep the carrots. The carrots thing at the kerosene. Still be there. Alright, old typewriter, you can save your progress, save the game. Alright, save over here. And it's a little blue. It's cool, it's blue. What's over blue? Like Jill, just cause blue. It's cool. Alright. Now, um, what ending gonna pick? That's another question that people say, what the, what the ending's gonna get. I'm gonna get the my ending again. I'm gonna get the berry. Either there's two endings. I'm gonna get either the like you know berry. What's her name? Fuck. Uh, it's a bad. Yeah. Uh, either I can do the berry and chill ending, or I'm gonna get the alone ending. 
So yeah, I'm not saving Chris Redfield. I'm not saving Chris. I'm just gonna leave him to die. Sorry, Chris. I had to leave you to die, bro. Sorry, bro. I had to die, mate. Whoa! <laughs> I thought he was gonna throw up again. I thought he was gonna throw up. It would be funny as hell. I mean, I like the image with three throws. Kind of funny looking. Alright. Alright, now we got our first contact Crimson Heads, which is... Very, very highly dangerous enemy. Very... Hold on, can I burn this, the, the body? Yeah, burn that body. Oh yeah, you can't burn the body. That's the Crimson Head. Yeah, if you burn the body, that's what happens. The, the Crimson Head will come to life automatically. This is gonna be our biggest challenge, is dealing with Crimson Heads. Oh god, this is not gonna be good. At all, because Crimson Heads equals like death and just you will die and die and die. Basically in this one, you'll die and die and die. Hope you guys enjoying this stream so far. I know I've been talking a lot and give you guys a lot of tips. Another tip I can think of is just try to save frequently. Frequent saves are very handy. Find for finding, of course, um, increments to save the game, save your progress. Not every time, but try to every like big thing you do, save the game, and yeah. And try to not waste too much ammo because, like me, or you're just wasting bullets and you're just gonna die. As you can see, the zombie there, and there's a crimson head this way, so we're not gonna go here anymore. This area here is fucking completely dead. Just dead and buried alive. The zombie puking. He pukes whatever chunks he has, and let's get the chemical. I forgot to get the chemical for for and and before and but. Alright, so let's get the chemical. We're gonna have a lot of helicons by the way, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm gonna I should move the lighter for inventory sake and the kerosene. And I'll come back here of course in this come back to the other safe room and get those. And no, I think I have to go oh I have to keep with them, I forgot. Stupid one thing. Anyways, um what else I can need to do? Okay, we'll come here and come back again. We need to backtrack as much as we can. We need to backtrack, go in and out, in and back, in and back a lot. Reason being is because we need to try to get as much items as possible. To the point I might just remove my pistol real quick. I know this is, this is a big, big risk right here I'm doing here is... Oh, I need to keep the handgun. Uh, I, at least I, I'm gonna use the uh, the thing, what's called the the, the plan thing, so that's good. All right, so I have to go here, go around. Okay. I'm trying to divide some type of play. How you doing, bro? You missed. You missed. You missed. So it's good. He has like a lot of like um, you could say not pushback. He has a lot of uh, the zombie has a lot of um. Alright, uh, there's no, oh, there's no, uh, defense item here, so let's go in this room. Get some items here. We're not gonna, I think we need to check the, that, use the defense item here. Gonna risk one. Or that. Let's just kill this zombie first, because we don't, we don't, we don't want this zombie, oh, I don't have any. Ah, uh, fuck. You know what? I'll do it later. <laughs> I gotta really like, depending on being smart and not being crazy and dumb and doing crazy shit. We will come back here and grab the the ammo, the shotgun ammo. That's for sure. We'll go back here with the shotgun. So I've got that shotgun we need. Shotgun balls we need. All right, now use the chemical and use red, not green. If you use green, you basically kill all the herbs, so you're basically screwed. Red, and you have a lot of herbs with you, and there's a chance to get all those, all the, all those herbs. All the green herbs you need. All the green herbs in the world are here, so 
We gotta come back through, not through the other door. We need to go back through. It's our first death mask. Death mask number one. And we'll collect every single herb. We're not gonna leave any herb behind. We gotta keep every single herb with us because we need every single herb that we need and take. We need to take as much herbs as possible. We're gonna go all the way back. We're not gonna go back through an, a, a locked door. We're gonna go back all the way to the other room. Not the with the zombies. The the room when there is a couple enemy when there's a, the room when there's like two enemies. So we're gonna go back there, grab our kerosene and lighter, and continue on forward. And keep the death mask. Alright, time to make a run for it. You know what? Fuck it, I'll go from here. I'll go here. Then go all the way around again. Yeah, there's a lot of moving around and a lot of going around in this game, so... I just a zombie. We're not gonna deal with him, with him now, we're gonna deal with him later. It's not worth to be dealing with right now, so... That's that. Um, we need to get... Oh, there's a, there's a typewriter there, but I'll keep the, the ink ribbon if I have a free inventory slot. So, yeah, you need to strategize about what type of weapons you can take, what type of we what weapon you need, what gun ammo. You gotta strategize because, as I'm about to show you, before that, let me just open up the door here. That'll bring us the... Uh, that's where the grenade launcher is, so right here in this door. The one thing with zombie mode is not is not even here, so basically all like this like forest with grenades is not gonna be in this one, so consider yourself safe. This this room here is safe basically. It's a safe place, so open this door. Open this door. And of course we gotta get the magnum of course. We need the Magnum. The Magnum is another important weapon in our disposal. Without the Magnum, we'll be fucking screwed and dead. We'll be dead as fuck without it. So, we're safe here. And there's a note by Barry, of course. And that's it. Barry will not be seen ever again or never be heard of or mentioned at all. There's a first day spray right there. He gives us, which is we will take it, of course. Our death mask. We'll put all the death masks here because the area we need to go just comes in handy. So I'll take away all the green herbs away away because we are gonna need other stuff later. Shotgun ammo is gonna be here as well, but at least we can keep our first aid spray here and more pistol ammo here. Our pistol ammo. Our first. Hang a magazine, 15 shots, which is awesome. It's probably like 10 shots each, but that's what it is. Alright, um, so let's go back because we actually need to go to, um, what's his name? We need to go to Richard and get the free shotgun, but before we do that, just in case, let's get the grenade launcher real quick. Quick, let's try and get that first before we move on to get the slow shotgun and the grenade launcher I will stash it in the same place I stashed up the shotgun ammo like all the useful stuff's gonna be in that room then once we were done we gotta come back before we go in you know later on the game basically before we go in to the next area the laboratory the laboratory We'll pick up every piece of ammo we have. Every piece of ammo, every piece of healing items with us because we're gonna need every single one of them. No healing items we left behind of course, so... That's why it's better to do that. Let's pick up the grenade launcher here. Look at this. It's Forrest. And he's dead. And his grenade launcher is right here. We need this gun, of course, because this gun is extremely useful. I'm gonna use it against him. I'm gonna use it against him to kill him off quickly because there is... Oh, there's no herbs here. Oh, it's worthless then. Then there's no use for it, so pretty much just being here is useless, so... 
Alright, so, well, there's no herbs there, then let's get the fuck out of here. Gotta dodge. Save me on a, at least save me a grenade launcher ammo, at least. That's good enough. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyways, um, so, we got the grenade launcher. Let's, let's stash it. Let's stash it. Oh, hold on, wait, before we stash it, let's just kill the zombies in the corridor area from over there probably kill them off and because we need to save the handgun ammo because we need handgun ammo for use stuff so and of course this door contains another puzzle might as well do the puzzle might as well do that real quick let's do the puzzle real quick this is the uh gas puzzle during the puzzle outcome we're not gonna be we're all the same so don't worry about it so every time you, you don't worry about it it'll be fine so, this is a really good challenge, actually. It's a very, very, very good challenge in this game. Yeah, I might fuck up this puzzle, like, in a heartbeat, in a way. Yeah, I fuck up this puzzle in a heartbeat, my god. both be opened and then I'll go back here again there you go perfect now we can open this up yay serious box Salmon, pull and switch here, and one in the back. And voila! One in front, one in the back, and it's like a mask. Right there, voila. Now, so we gotta get the mask and the green launcher here because we just need to stash them here because this is actually a good place to stash. And uh, um, the yawn boss fight. Um, the Yawn boss battle, or kind of a boss fight, which is a skippable boss fight. Just trying not to get poisoned. I'm gonna actually save the game before that. I'm gonna try my best, my best, not to get poisoned by him. First, get in and get uh, first get the the face mask. Oh yeah, by the way, another room to go. It's gonna be the room below. So let's go ahead. Let's just use all the keys in that area. Real quick before we before we. Uh, do you think real quick? Like, so far so good right now. So, so far so good. So, we'll keep the masks. All the masks will be here. As, as well, the grenade launcher will stay here. Because I like this. This is a really good place to stock up on ammo or healing items just in case you need it. It's a really good place to stack up. Stock up on stuff. As you can see, the handlebar, um, you know... The cutscene, not cutscene, the, the thing that says the handlebar is closed or whatever, it's not appeared here. So, alright, let's go in here quick before the zombie comes and eat me. And there's still one more door left, which is a door way past the zombie away. So, let's get, let's do this puzzle. Screw this puzzle up. Screw it up a little bit. 
pure orange. This will go to purple, I think. Oh, let's turn the green. See, we need a which one's the gray or purple. Screen. No, it's wrong. It's a mistake. If it's not correct, that means that the cross will come and eat me. No, I think that the analysis is correct. Hold on, I think I mistaken that. Hold on, let's just put all the original colors back again. And maybe... Oh, this one's correct, yeah. Okay, I think we got it. I think we got it correctly. Green. I think this is correct. Wait, hold on, the screen is there. Down here. Orange. The bracelet is... No, the bracelet, hold on. No, the bracelet is orange. The bracelet is orange, this is incorrect. Here what it says. Picture. Picture wearing a bracelet is glowing green. No, it needs, it needs to go as orange. This needs to go orange. This is this one. Let's see. The crown. No, this crown needs to be green. This one, what is it? The necklace? Yeah, no, okay, this is correct. No, shit, no. Put it. Back to yeah, this is correct. This one, we're in the crown. We need a green. Hold on, I'm not gonna put this in there. I'm gonna click this one in. So we're gonna put it green. No, that's correct. Green crown. So crown green bracelet. What's this? Orange. Nope, this is incorrect, so I have to push. This one's incorrect. No, this one's correct. No, oh, shit, no, this is correct. No, press it, press it. Yes, it's correct. I have to press this one. Be orange, orange. Yes, it's correct now. Now it's over. All right, done. So I had to turn the colors in there, the colors correctly. Now uh, this is basically do it like the last one, but and opens here. This is actually you know one of the areas, but we're gonna go. This is where we're gonna get the stuff on our stuff in. There, basically. We're going in and out from here. Or around if you want to. I thought the puzzle took me a little time, but I say, but I still remember how the puzzle works. But probably well. So. And yeah, the handgun, sometimes enemies take, takes a lot of shots, so. Okay, now we have to go to the upstairs to get one of the crest. So we're taking our time here. Getting everything we needed and everything like ready up and prepared. So, uh, excuse me, excuse me, guys. Sorry. If you guys want me to do more of this, uh, let me guys know. I'll do more Resident Evil Remake Survival Mode with Jill. 
And if you guys want me to do a... Oh yeah, actually there's an enemy here. I don't remember. There's actually an enemy inside. I know the enemy's supposed to be inside. Oh no, it doesn't appear yet. It hasn't appeared yet. It will appear later. As soon as you go in here, you hit the stuff and you come back and there's an enemy inside. I think we're going to already get the crest of the enemy. Because I know an enemy will be appearing. So, I'm trying to look for items. No, it's not enough. And So, for there's an increment which I'm going to take. And there's a, a health item right here, a green herb. That's not examined. Um, combine, green and red. Herb mix. Let's go in here. Lockpick here. I think Bear will come in, or maybe Bear doesn't come in. I think. Oh, Bear is in. Ah. Jesus, man, relax. <laughs> he just got scared. What do you mean? Okay, now we need is fish hook. Fish hook. This bee thing. Lower the B. Nothing happens. That's the man which is here. And then combine the hook with this. I think that's gonna work like. Attack no! Get the fuck one, Chris. Get the fuck out of here. Alright, and we'll be spawning. Spawns. I did. Or just. Oh, just. I think that's just that the original. And then it will spawn through. Ah, oh, I think that's why. And we'll spawn through normal. Alright. So we got the wind crest, which is awesome. I'll take it, of course, with me, and I uh, will put it where you know, put it with me once I once I'm done with it. I'll take it with me, of course. Um, other well, room haven't used the key yet. The dining room. The dining room is a room there we haven't used, so let's get this key done and then once the key is over we can go all the way back to uh, Richard and and we'll go to Richard and give him the serum because we need that serum to get Richard, you know, the assault shotgun, so I could I save some shotgun ammo, and I'm not gonna use it too much because I'm gonna use it against Sir Trevor, our first boss fight, which is Sir Trevor, the Crimson Head boss. So we use that. Hope I can like knock the enemy down quick enough or try to dodge him. Oh no, I think I had to first, oh no, not here. I had to go, uh, the lower floor first. Go in there, use the key, get to go to Richard, get the serum, get the shotgun. Get the shotgun, get the shotgun. I will get the key, what's called the, uh, I will of course get the uh, get the shield key. Once I get the shield key, 
but maybe I'll, I'll just stop with the game with your the shotgun and the approach just end here. Maybe or maybe I'll continue. Who knows? Okay, the zombie's here, so I'm about to kill him. Of course, kill with the, I think I'm not gonna, I'm gonna kill with the kerosene, to be honest. It's not worth it. I'll just save some kerosene, of course. I'll save some. Alright, let's go to Richard. Our homie Richard. Give him the serum. Save the game. And... That's basically it. And then just go down here. Back here, of course. Hold on. Let's bring, let's bring the ink ribbon with me. Let's put three ink ribbons... One place and put on three ink ribbons in other place, just in case we have like a safe, a separate safe point. Just in case. Get okay, three. Then we pick up some of the ink ribbons, so before we get to the lab of course, some ink ribbons, not much. Because we need to get these ink ribbons and... It's basically, it's all about strategizing your movement. That's basically what it's about, this difficulty, and that's why I'm being crucial of what things I need to pick up, what things I'll do first, what stuff I should discard, what stuff I can do. That's why I'm definitely keeping getting some like, not keep stuff, but keeping like, you know, try to be uh you know what? I'll get the grenade launcher. Although I know it's kind of a bad idea to get the grenade launcher, but I need to take it because I need to speed through getting the thing because and I can just burn the zombies down so I can do that as well. Zombie dash, dash of course works. I'm trying my best not to a zombie comes through the door and comes in the music to stop playing. I don't want this to happen. Okay so let's bring me the grenade launcher real quick so I can at least have a bit of a chance to get through that part and get that soul shotgun. The grenade launcher. Um putting us bosses only. Or I'll use it when I, ha I don't have any other shotgun ammo. Or if I'm out of shotgun or the assault shotgun, I'll go. And of course I'll keep it with me for next sections because shotguns are be coming of course extremely handy in this game. Shotguns are pretty much the most handiest weapon in the game. And weapon that carries through the game. Carries throughout the remake. This remake, of course. Alright, so now it's time to get the serum. Get the serum. Go back to Richard. So at least he's the last so we can get the shotgun. Item box check. Oh, item box check, okay. So, here we go. Let's go. We need the assault shotgun. We need this, we need this, and we need this. Assault shotgun will be a very handy weapon against zombies. Sorry, I have to use it against them. I have to use it against them. I don't have time. I'm gonna kill. The two zombies if I have to. Down you go. Except the zombie in the, the, the bottom floor. I'll keep them alive. Okay, so let's go get the serum and go back. Serum, let's go.
I'm doing the rapid run trick here, so of course we're gonna get the zombie later, but first of all let's get the serum, go back, and all that shit, so yeah, let's do that real quick. Let's do that quick and be fast. We I think that's about ten minutes. So he doesn't run the zombie. I should have just used the kerosene on him, but I don't have it with me, so So I'm definitely going to try to give you guys some tips to get through the difficulty and earn a trophy. There's actually a, a, a trophy, a trophy, a trophy, a trophy and achievement for this. So very, pretty much I'm doing this for a trophy and achievement. Of course, and of course doing it because I've done a game on impossible situations like Resident Evil 3 Nightmare. All right. Thing is alive. He's alive now, so we can so the shot got secured. Hell yes. Now he's one shot only, just in case, because we need to get rid of some zombies and shit, so alright. Okie dokie, now we are in the clear. And always have one healing item with you. And don't use it until I'm in danger or in caution orange. So now we can go there and get the piano parts and all that shit. So basically, we're almost close at the end of the, because we always have we only have one more piece of the mask. It's gonna be on the on the yawn boss fight, or on yawn basically. So yeah. Okay. Okay, I think we have to stop the game here, guys. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this, you know, little stream of me tackling this game on real survival mode, which is a very interesting mode. And, you know, not the best guide in the world. I'm not the best guide, but, you know, I'm trying to like, get through it. Just like, you know, do the achievement and. Maybe give some help, some good tips and tricks for you guys. So yeah, thank you guys um, for watching this little stream here I make. I'll try to make as much streams as possible because I'll have college will be beginning or school will start will start a little soon. So I'll try to finish up the streams I need to do. Yeah, cause it's gonna take me a while. It's gonna take me a long time. Which is, I think that's actually be the next stream I'm gonna do tomorrow. So maybe, maybe not, who knows, maybe on Thursday I'll do it. So yeah, it's been Chris Walker. I hope you guys are okay. I hope you know you guys enjoy this. Be safe. God bless you all and good night, good morning, wherever you guys are. Later, peace.